your first play of the ball game from the 20 for Alabama. Palmer's in motion. Palmer's got the ball. Coming around the corner, he shakes one. And he puts his head down and pulls his way to the 28-yard line. An eight-yard pickup on the play. Palmer is out now at the flanker spot, having given him eight yards, and Prince Wembley is in there. Nicks up in the backfield. Woodson went the wrong way. The football is fumbled, and it is recovered by Tennessee's Sean Walker. At the 22-yard line of Alabama, and Andy Kelly is in there. Beat up and banged up, but he's in there. He's never won an Alabama game. This is Aaron Hayden getting the start. The ball squirts loose from Hayden, but it goes out of bounds, and Tennessee will keep control of it. The hold is Jason Julian. Snap is good. The hold, the catch is partially blocked. Somebody got a piece of it. And a second down and 11 for the tie. Here comes the quarterback. He just took the snap, took off like a tailback behind single wing blocking, fumbles the football again, but this one goes out of bounds. So the play is uh, good up across the 25-yard line. It is third down. As Woodson goes back trying to set up a screen and throws the ball away. And here's Tank Williamson in the punt for Alabama. Dale Carter is the deep man. Tennessee ought to get pretty good field position if they handle it. That's a good tight spin. It's a booming kick. Fumble by Carter. Ball is loose, and Alabama has got the football. It is covered by Steve Dusky. That is the fourth fumble in this ball game. Would you say the guys are a little tight? No nervous. Little tight. David Palmer coming around the corner he's a freshman from Birmingham we told you early on and uh, he won't get back to the line of scrimmage on that carry they take him down at the 25 yard line and now uh, there's two or three people out here <laughs> don't know what they're doing they pitch it back to David Palmer he's gonna throw it yeah. gets it off got a man over there that's Woodson the quarterback and he's down to the 10 yard line now Tennessee puts eight folks up on the front and it's third down. Woodson looks to throw it, throws it now. The pass is incomplete, and you picked the wrong man. Hamp Green will try a 21-yard field goal out of the hold of Jeff Wall. Trying for the lead here. And the kick ain't pretty, but it counts. First down and 10 for Tennessee, Andy Kelly. Playing sore, back to throw it. Drops it off. The pass is caught by Craig Faulkner, a sophomore from Richmond, Kentucky. Kelly, a little quick hit. That's good for the first down. I mean, he popped that thing right on the numbers. The ball was caught by Carl Pickens. The surest hands probably on the team. The tackle by Antonio Langham, Alabama. And it's first down volunteers. K is in there right now on third down and four. Checked off. Hands it away. That's going to be a first down as Hayden finds some running room and goes slashing off the left side and puts the ball on the Alabama side of the field. But that was a good call by Kelly. Saw that freshman drop that shoulder and lay a lick on George Teague, too. They've got Kelly. The sack is made. It's Antonio London getting there first, number 55. Look at this. No back. Everybody's outside, trips to the top, double at the bottom, protection pretty good. He has to go inside, though, to Carl Pickens down the sideline. Carl Pickens has got a first down, Tennessee, inside the Alabama 15-yard line. Stacy Harrison saved the six. Running up the middle. The headgear comes off. This is time to play some jawbone football. They're going for it. Kelly throws it. Incomplete. Well, I wonder if it was because it's on the hash mark real close to the goal post. That angle is very difficult this year. Could be. This is Kevin Turner, the fullback, carrying the ball, and he works his way up around the 10, maybe the 11 yard line. Third down, and uh, very short. They put in a couple of tight ends, and the next, uh, that one of them is uh, Martin Houston at the fullback position. And I don't know. 
That, that man comes in from the side and marked that ball, and that is not a first down where he's standing. The game they play with their marketing and all of that stuff is yep. incredible. But Tyson uh, was seen about two weeks ago holding his ribs going into a clinic. But they wait until now to announce it. Gain is across midfield, down close to the 47-yard line. Kelly hands it off. Certainly wasn't much of a hole there that time. And uh, the ball carrier Hayden is stopped short of the 40. Tide comes up now, set him up with a single back, put Palmer in motion, swing him back there. They fake it this time. Woodson keeps it, ducks away from the Tennessee pursuer, and will get himself about six yards. Woodson's pass. Caught. Prince Wembley hauls it in, a junior from Miami. The throw to win, he's in big trouble. Woodson is one of four with eight yards so far. Ball is dumped off to Houston. Houston breaks the tackle. Gets it up across the 40 to the 41-yard line. They have thrown the most interceptions. Their last in interceptions, meaning they, that's one thing they don't they want to leave. And that, uh, fortunately, Kelly has thrown a lot of interceptions. Third down and five going for his first down. And he's close. Van, uh, Vaughn Reeves, the tight end. Trying a different formation here. Woodson back to throw it. He had time. Now he breaks out of there and runs it up to about the 40 and leaves him a yard or so short of his first down. You ever hear politics? <laughs> Downfield, got a man wide open, and he missed it. Oh, my goodness. Kevin Turner. Big chance by the boards for Alabama. Williamson's punt, spinner. Carter, 19. Oh, oh, look at that. Oh, my goodness. He just sidled by that the would-be Alabama tackler. Back here, they use sandblasting to take all kinds of green paint off this whole place. Set up a screen, and it works for Mose Phillips. And Mose has a big play. That's the biggest play of the ball game for either side. The game goes to just about the Alabama 40-yard line. Kelly will throw it. Again, nobody open deep. Drops it off to Vaughn Reeves, the tight end, and Reeves will have a first down for Tennessee at the Alabama 23-yard line. Vaughn to the big guy. Short of his first down. John Bexport is in for a 33-yard field goal try. He had one block early on in the ball game. Trying to tie it at three. Got a lot of foot on this one, and the kick is good, and we are even. 3.32 to go first half of 3-3 defensive struggle. The Vincent story was uh, not able to get on last week because of the Thomas uh, uh, hearing. That pass is completed up to about the 35-yard line, but still just under the marker, it appears. Lassick is in now. He may be just a little uh, quicker than Stacy. Saran, of course, coming off knee surgery. Behind him, ball knocked loose, and it is covered by Alabama. Fourth Accepted, very poor choice of the target. And Ernest Fields, the linebacker who had dropped on the boundary side, makes the interception. Four-man front, backers are inside. Kelly keeps it, rolls for time, throws. My goodness, I don't know how it got there, but it did. They're going to kick it. Plenty of leg. Like I said, he's not old enough to know how hard it is yet. <laughs> That's true. That's for sure. So this ought to be the last one of the first half, unless there's a penalty involved. And it's not very glamorous because it's a sack by the Alabama quarterback, and the half is over. Chuck Smith was the man that got through. So it's 6-3 Tennessee lead at halftime, back with activities after this message and the word from our ABC station. 
David Palmer now on crutches with a severely sprained ankle. Let's hope that's all it is. Poe is in the backfield with Alan ha uh, Aaron Hayden, uh, the deep man. And Alabama's eating him up. Well, he'd be a load as a running back, wouldn't he? <laughs> Try to go outside. Got a block on the corner, and it works pretty well for Hayden. Kelly pitches it to Hayden. Won't get there. Boy, I tell you, it is mean trying to run. Just good defense, Keith. Hard day to be a pedestrian, isn't it? Stacy's carried the ball five times. He's picked up three yards. Yeah. Woodson goes wide with it to Stacy. And there are three, now four volunteers out there to put him on his back. He is. Turner turns around and gives the, the snap count to Stacy, and Woodson goes back to throw and the pass is good as Stacy picked up the Tennessee uh, pursuer and Wembley loses his footing and is beside himself. Stacy. Well he searches around and finally gets a little daylight and picks up the first down. But he had to bounce off three people before he got outside and got across the 45. Personal foul call against Tennessee after the play. Stacy. Yeah, he's now checking. Yeah, he certainly is. Better dump it. Oh, shoot. Hayden. He's got a little room over there. But Chuck Smith, number 56, got just enough of him to take him down. And now they stay with the ground game, and they're not going to get the first down. The ball rolling around, but they're going to call it down. Classic, very quick. He's out of Hammersdorf, New York. Junior. And Woodson just pulls him down and takes off. And picks up the better part of eight yards before the Sean Walker gets him out of bounds. Lee and Wembley come wide to the bottom of your picture now. Pitches back to the tailback. Lassick, he pretty near dropped that thing. Breaks out of there, gets into the clear. And he's run down at the Tennessee 26 yard line. That's what quickness will do for you. It's going to be called back, though, because it's an illegal procedure. The gain was 41 yards, the biggest of the day by far. And Lassick is out for a breather after that long run for Nock. Woodson keeping the ball, trying to hide back there and uh, find a little uh, weak side help. There's a penalty flag. That's a late hit out of bounds. Moves the ball all the way out to the 49-yard line, and now you get Jay Barker into the ball game. Woodson winded after the play, has to come out and get his breath, and Parker checks in. He's the freshman quarterback. Handed off quickly to Kevin Turner, and Turner breaks a tackle and turns it upfield. You may see Parker's first pass right here. over there no flag the pass is incomplete this being only their second possession oh a little bit of room there James Stewart back goes Andy Kelly on second down to the sidelines to Pickens and Pickens is taken out of bounds at the 40 yard line which is two yards short of the first down Stacy Harrison was the first man to get there Receivers around here. Here comes your reverse with McCluskey. And they've got a first down at the Alabama 37 yard line. And listed as his replacement. This is the tailback. And it's James Stewart, and he's out of there by Eric Curry. The Alabama crowd comes up for the defense and Andy Kelly's pass is whipped to the sidelines to the 30 caught by Corey Fleming but he's short of the marker 47 yards this would be his longest in college now make it 46 the official scorer says 
Dave Brinson telling me. And he hits it. And he missed it. They see nine carries, only 13 yards. Dave Archer going to throw it. Well, he was going to throw it. But again, there's an evidence of exactly what Bob was talking about. Ball is at the 30-yard line. It is third down. This is Kevin Turner. First down, Alabama. He just sitting there and is slapping your ears off, and you got to do something different. That pass right there might help. Tied in, Busky gets a first down for Alabama. Well, you just try losing one. Lose one now. See how easy it is. This is Saran Stacy. And he's got another Alabama first down. So all of a sudden. Here goes Lassick. Nine yards on the carry. Lassick. He's out of bounds, just short of the goal line. At the one, he almost slipped in there. Parker gives it to Stacy. Touchdown, Alabama. They've got the lead. Andy Kelly lets it go down the middle of the highway. Incomplete. Closest man to it was Antonio Langham. With Chris Anderson deep for Alabama. Good kick by him. He grows up. He might be pretty good. Chris Anderson going down to 30. Gets a block on the corner. And he's all the way down to the Tennessee 15-yard line. First down, Alabama. I'll tell you what, a touchdown sure would be big, wouldn't it? Yeah, but uh, this is Stacy. There's your first down. A lot of these guys that wear these low numbers used to be running backs that grew up and with the speed, brought the speed with them, and now they play linebacker. Classic touchdown, Alabama. Looks like he pulled a muscle right there at the end. I don't know. Those are two quarterbacks that can really light it up, too, Keith. They really are, aren't they? Two tough guys. That pass is intercepted. It's deflected and intercepted by Antonio Langham. And Alabama is in that old familiar posture of rolling. Kelly in this half, not too good. Two out of five, 15 yards, and interception. This is Stacy. He's still going. Inside the 10, out of bounds, first down and goal, Alabama at the Tennessee eight-yard line. Unbelievable. Stacy again. Oh, man. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, Saran, take it easy. You're going to break something. My goodness. But, you know, Tennessee would still have a shot at it. A touchdown here in Tennessee may not have a chance. Turner's a man in motion, the fullback. They go the other way, give it to Saran Stacy, and he scores. You could follow a winning program, right? You like those, those long rides back home. You like to be in, uh, have them uh, happy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You don't want to be sad, That's right. Third down, Kelly back. He's got a screen working for a first down to Mose Phillips. Mose still hauling it. And he is finally thrown out of bounds at the 44-yard line of Alabama, and that tends to quiet the crowd just a bit. And that's where we are, 24 to 6. Tennessee with the first kind of a threat in a long time from the 44-yard line. Andy Kelly's pass is good. The pass is caught by Faulkner, his second catch of the ball game. Kelly keeps it, dives for the goal line. And they don't give it to it. Got to remember that Tennessee played a very tough emotional game last week. 
against Florida. The dive and it's touchdown Hayden. And the Volunteers have answered. That's Pickens in motion. Kelly gives it to him. Got to hurry. Won't get there. Number 11 put him away for Alabama. Lemansky Hall. And so the two points is turned away. And the score remains 24 to 12. Dewar's over here with one, one of his teammates. So he's going to hit it right along the line and try to bounce it up in the air. Bounces off an Alabama man. It's Fair Pickens. No, it's Carl Pickens. No, Fair Pickens. <laughs> <laughs> Carl's not out there. <laughs> That's a a lot of kick. clawing and scratching down in the bottom of that pile. Look to me like a Tennessee man has it. Well, they're still fighting over it. Yeah, that's right. Man, Tennessee got it. They have changed hands a few times. Kelly's pass is complete. That is a first down. He goes to the big play man, Carl Pickens. Kelly's out there. He has a protector directing traffic. His pass is good inside the 15 to the 14, and that's another first down. There's the touchdown, Aaron Hayden. So Tennessee has gone bang, bang on the scoreboard. Big effort by Hayden. Hayden, just a true freshman playing in only his seventh game. Notice how he's got the ball teed up. He sort of lays it down, trying to get that end over in, get a bounce on it. Knocked down by the Alabama man and controlled by the Crimson Tide. Parker giving the ball to Stacy. That ball came loose. loose. He fumbled it. Unbelievable. Tennessee's going to get one more shot. This is unbelievable. There's your miracle. There's a lot of time right there. Well, this isn't too good either. Mm. God, he's wasted, he's he's wasted 15 seconds since that At least. Scramble. At least. Throw it. That's off the hand of Craig Faulkner, incomplete. You need, you got two problems. You, first of all, you need to pick up a first down. A quick out to the bottom of the screen would be good. This is it. Pickens, and Pickens will have your first down, and will stop your clock at 12 seconds. <laughs> Kelly caught by John Copeland. Alabama's beaten Tennessee six straight times, 24-19 today.